All right, everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna continue with the AutoCAD shapes and we're gonna create the last two columns or rows or sections or whatever you wanna call it. So number 13, I'm gonna zoom in on number 13 so we can get a closer look. I'm gonna start my line command. I'm gonna start my line at this bottom left corner of my panel. And I'm gonna type in at one comma one. I'll draw a line straight up. That's gonna be one. And then again, I'm gonna go at one comma one. And then I'm gonna go move my mouse to the right and type in one for that length. Press the escape key. So then to create this arc here, I'm going to go under in the draw panel where you see the arc and then click the arrow, the arrow down arrow below that. So I'm looking for the start and radius option. So the start is going to be this bottom of this line here. And the end is going to be at the right side of this line. And then the radius is going to be two. I'm going to hit the escape key. I'm going to erase this construction line. So there's number 13. For number 14, I'm going to draw a line from this bottom corner here. This time I'm going to go at two, at two comma one. So we're kind of in the middle there. And I'm going to go over to the right, 0.5, straight up 0.5, to the right 0.5 straight up one to the left, 0.5, up 0.5 to the left, 0.5. Now we're a little dizzy from all those turns. So here I'm gonna hit the escape key. Let me erase this line here. I'll do the same thing. So I'm gonna create the arc with the start and radius option. Start end radius. So I'm gonna start it here, this top. The end is gonna be at the bottom. The radius is, the radius on this one is one. So there's that one, 15. Looks kinda of like a pie that's been, somebody's snacked on it a little bit. So I'm gonna draw a line, this bottom corner, and look for the center of this panel. So that's gonna be at two comma two. Hit the escape key. I'm gonna draw a circle. Um, they give us a diameter, so I'm gonna go center diameter option. Center's here, and it's a diameter of two. And then I'm gonna draw a line. Near this line, I'm gonna draw a line. And the end here is gonna be up one. I'm gonna draw another line. Here to the left one. Let me erase this. I'm gonna TR for trim this piece. Well, there's that one. And this one kind of starts off the same for number 16. Line. This bottom left corner of the panel. It's gonna go at two comma two. And I'm gonna draw a circle. Um, yeah, they give us a diameter. So I'm gonna use a center diameter option here. Diameter of two. Now we're gonna create this square right inside it. The square is, the center of the square is the center of the circle. All right, so I'm gonna try some. I'm gonna try something fancy here. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna go to um, my rectangle. And I don't care about where the center is right now. I'm just gonna draw something over here. So I'm just gonna, my left, Bottom left corner is gonna be here. And I'm going to, here I'm gonna type in one, press the tab key, type in one, press the tab key again. Now press enter. So there's our box. So we wanna get the center of this box to the center of our circle. So if I'm, I'm thinking if I can go to my object snap and I can type in a parent intersection or what else? Oh, geometric center. That's what I want. Geometric center. So now, if I move this, 
I typed in M for move. I'm going to select this box, press enter. And then there's my geometric center. So I'm going to click on this geometric center and I'm going to move that to the end of this line here. And bam, there's our center of our box at the center of our circle. And I'm going to erase this line. So there's that one. And then moving on to number 17. All right, 17. So I'm going to find the center of my panel again. So line, this bottom corner here. I'm going to go at 2 comma 2. I'm going to hit the escape key. Hit the escape key a lot when you're using AutoCAD. You can also use a space bar instead of the enter key. So sometimes it's easier to find the space bar with your thumb without looking at it. And it is kind of hunt to where your inner key is at, but that's just kind of a, a tidbit. So your space bar also works as the inner key. Um, so now where was I? Oh yeah, I was gonna do a circle and I gave us a radius. So I'm gonna use center radius. The center's gonna be here. The radius is 0.5. And then I need to make a polygon. So I'm gonna go up to where my rectangle is, click the arrow to the right, select polygon. This is gonna be three, four, five, six, eight. It's an eight-sided. So eight, the center is here. It's inscribed and the um, radius is, is one. They give us a diameter of two, so our radius is one. Type one, press enter. So there's that. I'm gonna get rid of this line here. Moving on to 18. 18 is a cool looking moon shape. So again, I'm gonna look for the center of the panel. So line at two comma two. I'm gonna make a circle. Um, they gave us a radius, so I'm gonna use a center radius. There's our center. Our radius of this circle is one. And then I'm at the escape key. So I'm going to draw a line from the center here over to the right, 0.5. And that's just telling me where this, the center point of this other circle is going to be. So, or the arc. So I'm going to go circle, radius. The center is going to be over here. And the radius of this is 0.8. And then I can erase these construction lines. I'm a TR for trim. I don't need that. I don't need that. So there's our moon shape. All right, number 19. Uh, let's see, how are we going to do this? I'm going to go line. I want to find the center this time. I'm going to go at 1, 1. I'm going to draw a line straight up to units. I'm going to go over to the right, 0.5, press the escape key. I'm going to draw a line from this bottom of the line here at the top of that angled line. And then I'm going to go over to the right, 1.5. And I'm going to draw another little line over to the right because we're going to erase this in a minute. I'm going to go over to the right again, 0.5. And I'm going to go straight up to Hit the escape key. So let's see. Okay, so I want to create a, I'm gonna do the circle arc. Circle rate, I'm sorry. Circle with the center radius option. And my center is gonna be at the top of this line. The radius is 1.5. And I'm going to erase this line. I'm gonna erase this little smidgen of a line. Here I wanna draw a line from here up. I'm gonna go past that circle on the other side of it. Hit the escape key. I'm just gonna trim out TR the top of that where it meets the circle. I'm gonna trim out this part of the circle I don't need. Erase this, erase this. So there's 19, 20 is, yeah, 20 is, it's tricky. So 20, let's see, um, 
yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a line. This bottom corner, I'm gonna go at one comma one. Here I'm gonna go up 1.5. Press the escape key. I'm gonna draw another line here and go over 1.5. Um, let me go up. Here I'm gonna go up by 0.5. And then I'm gonna go up again by 1.5. So I got two little lines there. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. So what I need to do now is I'm going to draw a circle with the radius, center radius. And the first one is gonna be, the center is gonna be at the top of this line. And that radius is 1.5. And then I need another circle center radius. It's gonna be the top of this little smidgen line that I made, right where that is. I'm gonna drag it out. So this is gonna be the same radius of 1.5. All right, so now we got a lot of, we got a lot of congestion going on here. So we want to erase this line. I want to, let's see, I wanna keep that part. So I'm gonna trim, TR for trim this, segment i want to trim out mm, this segment here i want to trim this and this i want to trim out this piece is that yeah yeah, yeah. i'll trim out that piece i want to trim out this piece this piece i want to erase this line that line, I'm gonna zoom in here because there's a little piece here. I need to get rid of that little whisker. It's like a whisker. I'm trying to go a beard on us. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Erase, erase. All right, there we go. So we have all our shapes drawn. They're all kind of lined up nice and neat. Uh, the next video we're gonna create, we're gonna add the dimensions onto our shapes. And that way we'll know if we got them, if we drew them correctly, because the, the dimensions that we add should match up to the dimensions on the paper. So we'll do that in the next video. All right, so make sure you come back, grab a snack, and we'll put some dimensions on this bad boy. And then the final thing is we'll add the, uh, the hatch pattern very last, so that won't take very long at all. So yeah, we'll get it done. All right, peace out.